Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me on Berets where today we're going to be talking about the next Global Banner and uh, Global announced it a little bit early this time. Uh, the October login bonus came out because, you know, October started and they kind of had to tell people, hey, this is what to expect. And uh, Glassy was of course the uh, login bonus for the entire month of October. so. Cats, games up, boys. Cats out of the bag, and all that stuff. Although I am hoping that Globalers will get a Halloween unit before the end of the month, and it could be possible. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But now for basically my favorite series of banners in all of Woad of History is coming to Global, and I'm very excited about it. So excited that I'm actually going to do just a big showcase of these three characters today. So let's talk about Laswell. Glassy and Lorila, a combination that I am very, very happy to talk about. So, first of all, going to be just talking in three segments. I'm going to give an overview of my characters, all three of mine, show how I built them, show what I think, and uh, then I'm going to be running through just uh, repeating missions to uh, show you guys how they perform, how well they perform with my current build. Keep in mind that not all of these characters are built perfectly at this point, so sorry. Uh, and also just going to be as well talking about uh, the future of Global and what to expect. So first of all, let's get into it. We'll start with Lorila, say, uh, just starting off on a very strong foot. And uh, Lorila is a really interesting character, primarily a hunter-based character with uh, the sub-jobs of Viking as well as Knight. Knight makes her a little more tanky, Viking makes her a little stronger. A pretty good combination overall. And to that, I just really, really kind of just I, I just like her. I, I like the fact that she has this. She has uh, the diamond pattern AoE hit that most hunters do, which makes her just a potential good hit many enemies all at once character. Uh, and her HP for an MR is not terrible. I don't think that her stats are quite as high as some of the alternative shooting based options out there, but uh, th she shouldn't be. She's a uh, lower a lower cost characters and she's easier to build and everything so i think that this character uh, is just she's just one of my favorites i mean i love her design i love the traditional japanese archer kudo design uh that just hits me right here just love that style um but overall i think in terms of just a you know a lower rarity character uh it, potentially, if you're looking for more archers, uh, more shooters for that party, Lorila's a good fit. So, haven't used her a ton, but I do just love her to death. Next up, uh, let's skip a bit and head over to Laswell. Laswell is a character that I have not been using a mass amount, particularly because for farm, he's okay. He's not great. Uh, he reminds me of the current JP character, Larudo, the fist, the fire fist fighter who, you know, really good interpersonal combat, not so great for farming, but not bad either. Laswell's the same. His HP stat is is, isn't bad. Her, his, um, Agility is fine, his attack is really nice and everything, but uh, really where Laswell shines is just in those high difficulty contents, uh, mainly because of a couple of things. He has defense penetration, he has ice resistance down, he has high attack power, he has AoE hits, uh, he has, you know, just generally a pretty nice kit for dealing damage, and not only that, he can tank up uh, any hit in the entire game and not take any damage. One of his abilities is basically a kind of bolide ability where it just, he gets hit and it nullifies all the damage and everything. It's been super useful. So for stuff such as like tower PVP and some difficult PVE content, Laswell has proven invaluable, really useful, especially for some of the tank, more tanky enemies you run into. Laswell, with his defense penetration, can still get the job done a lot of the time. So Laswell is actually just a character that served me super well, and I think that he is pretty damn awesome. Kind of wish I'd raised his limit burst, but um, there's only so many resources, and I'm a bit of a saver at the moment, just in case something important. 
But yeah, uh, Laswell for me has been a really great pickup. I think this character is absolutely awesome. And I think he is not talked about enough on the JP side. I think he's just really good. And last but not least, certainly not least, one of my personal favorites of all the characters in Wodev, Glassy Wazette. Uh, just this character, first of all, water element, love the water element, means she has really good synergy. Also, as a spear user, she has plenty of good summon options too. Uh, the lowest probably being Siren, but um, Ifrit works incredibly well for her, as well as Titan. But not only that, well, I guess Titan still should be coming up for the global side. Uh, the brand new on the JP side, Leviathan, work pairs incredibly well since he is a physical water attack up summon, and uh, he is just generally really, really good with Glassy. Anyway, uh, just great amount of HP, really nice agility, um, even potentially a good defense and spirit stat overall. Pairs well with the second tower's um, uh, gift, which Global will be coming up on very shortly. The Water Ring, which does have an extra 80 attack and uh, some defense and spirit. This ring is absolutely bonkers. I think that it is really great and just kind of completes our kit. Glassy as well has a wide variety of damage types. Primary is Spear, but she also has Strike as well as Ninja, meaning that she has Slash and Strike based damage types as well as her primary, which is Piercing. Piercing is of course her strongest but potentially gives her some options into the future of what she will be doing. Again, as well, I consider Leviathan a huge buff for her because if you take someone like Ifrit and put her on Glassy, doesn't really improve a lot of her sub jobs where she could potentially be doing water elemental damage of different types, but Leviathan boosts all her types. So again, I think it's a really great pairing. But overall, Glassy is primarily in uh, just overall a spear chainer and a really good one uh, with uh, enough spear damage as well as a uh, her incredible limit burst she is capable of dishing out massive damage I think my current record is about 20 or 30 thousand uh, off the limit burst um, but it is potentially maybe even possible to go even higher to go even beyond but uh, yeah, Glassy has been incredibly useful, uh, both in terms of farm, as well as just difficult PvP, uh, PvE content. This character has served me incredibly well. Of course, with the number of lightning gunners out there recently, that has made things a little more difficult, just in case you were worried that I thought I forgot. Um, very strong strike resistance, very strong pierce resistance. Um, in terms of shooting and magic though, this is where she falls down a little bit. And uh, with the future inclusion of Scar or Skull, whatever his name is, on the global side, um, a lightning-based mage or even Salir slash Saria is potentially very damage dealing to her. So you have to be a little bit careful about what matches, uh, what matches you choose. But she is still a very strong character. And uh, just to show off the other resistance going in kind of like a I don't know, U shape. Laswell, pretty, yeah, sorry. Pretty good against uh, sword and shooting. Magic, however, and pierce and strike are all potential weaknesses. So, spears, cane would be a problem for him. Magic, rain would be a problem for him. And strike, the new character, Larudo, would be a problem, especially since the fire elemental is his weakness. And last but not least, Lorila. Particularly good against other shooters, but weak and physical and magic. So you got to be careful. Make sure that this character stays away. All right, so let's hit the auto button and just going to talk overall. I do think that this banner is potentially just really strong. Uh, main reason is because this banner has three really good characters on it. Even the MR character, I think, is good. Not break the bank worthy, but still just really, really strong. Laswell is potentially great if you're looking for PvP or PvE content and the difficulty of that as well. I think though that if you are interested in Kane in the future or any future Spear users, you should be 100% thinking about getting um, 
Glassy. Glassy is just, in my opinion, the top of these three characters. Incredibly valuable, incredibly useful, and has just been uh, just so wonderful. think that she is really, really, really good. I just, again, I just really love using her in the sense that she is just great in multiple forms of content. She's uh, and not in the sense that, like, even the fact that she is so good in multiple types of content, that she falls down in some of them in terms of her performance. Just thinks it's strong all the way around. So yeah, I think that uh, if you're if you're like, and also not only this, but uh, the next thing, Titan, a summon, is potentially really good for spear users after this. But there are alternative uh later on globalers you will probably get the uocs that we got which are summon uocs so uh, i think there was maybe one of them on the jp side uh so it you, again you may not necessarily have to go for titan Ed. also the future banner of skull the thunder mage that comes with a side story that also is based on lorila uh the archer that i'm showing off now uh Skull slash Scar has never been a particularly incredibly strong character, mainly because if you already have built Saria, there's almost no need for Skull. He is just a character that definitely is not a bad character, but if we're going to be talking about the fact of, oh, well, is he kind of a must-have? No, he's probably one of the lower end ones, just because his performance doesn't quite outpace of, uh, you know, so, how good Salir kind of already was and the fact that many people kind of already built Salir or Saria, whatever her name is. Um, so yeah, I think that these are just really strong. Also, another reason that Glassy is just really strong, again, she pairs very well with Kane, one of the in basically the strongest characters, period, currently on the JP side, even bringing out Sakura recently. Uh, Kane is just a force to be reckoned with, and if you put both of them together, whew, that's even more scary. But yeah, uh, Glassy pairs just really well with Kane. She'll be useful in tons of spear content in the future. Not only spear content, but also tower content as well. So I think that these are just two really good banners. Laswell and Glassy will be on separate banners. Lorila will also appear on Glassy's banner. So that's basically the banner setup. But, for anybody who's curious, uh, I mean, the one kind of toss-up of whether, how hard you should go on these banners, obviously, if you're a fan of either of these characters, you've probably already decided, but I do think that these are two really strong characters. They're also permanent characters as well, meaning that if you do get them, you can slow farm them if you really want, but uh, again, I think just very, very strong. If you're interested in spears, go for glassy. If you're interested in swords, uh, go for lads well. And um, that's about it. So yeah, uh, strong recommendation for everything here. Um, with a heavy, heavy recommendation for the best girl. Let's see. So anyway, you guys, uh, that's everything for this video. Tell me, are you excited for these banners? Will you be pulling on any of this stuff? Uh, are you excited about the new JP content or anything? Let me know. Try and take a look at it. And um, you know what? Going to join the prayer circle that uh, Global is going to get that uh, Halloween unit you've been thirsting for. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you next time.